All right, FAQ number 111, 111. Uh, what about the book of John? How does that fit in with this time where you have the Old Testament ending with John uh, the Baptist and law and the prophets are until John since that time the kingdom of heaven is preached and every man presseth into it. So obviously John is recording the same types of events that are happening in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, but yet there's a different feel to the book of John. Why is that? Well, uh, this would require more than just an FAQ, and I will be doing this at some point in time in the future. But uh, definitely, John is a type of the church. Uh, he was the one that, whom Jesus loved. The Bible talks about that. And over in the book of Ephesians, just get the verse here real quickly. Ephesians chapter 5, I think it is. Um, Uh, yeah, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Okay, so the church, Jesus loves the church. And Jesus had a special love for John that he didn't have for the other disciples. Okay, there was something special about John. And of course, who is it that gets called up to uh, heaven in the book of Revelation? John, Revelation chapter 4. So, very interesting there. And, you know, churches are mentioned in chapters 2 and 3 in Revelation. And in chapter 4, John goes up and there's no more mention of the church. So, interesting. But um, the book of John, yes, it is going on during that time where the transition is happening there. The kingdom of heaven is being preached. The kingdom of God is being preached. Um, but what you're seeing there, I mean, we're reading it after these events have happened. And, you know, but what we're reading there in the book of John is Jesus is actually starting to kind of foretell what's going to be happening in the church age. So of all four Gospels, you're going to find more things for us today as Christians in the book of John than you will in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And ironically, Matthew, Mark, and Luke all contain accounts of the time of Jacob's trouble, of going into that time period and having to endure to the end and everything else. But John doesn't. And in fact, John chapter 10, John chapter 9, you have the story of Lazarus, you know, and Jesus says to him plainly, you know, uh, or no, I'm sorry, the story of the blind man, excuse me. Um, but you have the story there of the blind man and then you know, he, how he can see and his, and people are saying, he's is, is he the same guy and everything? Kind of picturing the new birth. John chapter 10, you actually have a reference to the rapture, not the second coming. It's very interesting. I've talked about that in other studies. I'm not going to go into it here again. But the book of John is very much pointing towards the church and what's going to be happening in the future. And again, we can say, well, that seems confusing. Why would John record events that are different than Matthew, Mark, and Luke? Well, because we're looking at it after everything has happened, like I said earlier. So uh, at the time, it would have probably been somewhat mysterious, and they'd probably, been, you know, John was probably going, "I don't understand all this stuff," and Lord's just like, "Yeah, well, just write," <laughs> like what happened back in Revelation. So uh, definitely an interesting book. Um, you know, there's a, a local church Bible publishers. They have a, also bearing precious seed. And I know for years and years and years we would hand out these uh, little eight and a half by elevens folded over, you know, just a little booklet that contained the books of John and Romans. And um, if you want to get somebody saved, those are those are the two best books. Somebody says, "Where should I start reading in, in the King James Bible? Where what would be a good place to begin?" Um, John and Romans. If they're lost, if they're not saved. Get them into John and Romans. That's where you're going to find a lot of things that pertain to our salvation today. You're also going to find a lot of good doctrine and things like that. You know, help people to understand who Jesus Christ is and what he did on the cross, why he came to the earth. So, uh, that would be my answer to that. Um, and we will see you in uh, FAQ number 112. And that will be the final FAQ. So, thank you for watching.